What's going on gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over my method that I use to be able to make coins on a daily. If you enjoy the content, drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button so you can always be alerted when a new coin making tip or method is released. Also, make sure that your notifications is on. Let's get into today's banger. This is your one stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for ebooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at my team so you can see what I've been doing with all the methods that I've been releasing. So the only thing we're doing is looking to upgrade this Robbie Anderson once he hits around 600K. You can see I'm at 814,000 with the new upgrade. I just picked up Dan Marino last night. I got the Antonio Gibson. I got a couple of the stocking stuffers after doing the reroll method that I've been showing you for the past two days. And my defense is looking nasty, just waiting on an upgrade. I got 50 Jets right now that I am running. Robbie Anderson is the last person that I need. Defense is looking pretty solid. We got the Cordell Pedersen for free. We got the Ty Law boosted up to a 98 overall. We got Jason Taylor and John Abraham both coming off to the edges. And you can do all this. I went from 125K coins on Tuesday to over a million coins yesterday. I took 300,000 out of that million coins and I made upgrades to my team in a couple positions. I got this Dan Marino, sold off my Boomer Esiason. I got the power up for Robbie Anderson, waiting to get his uh, Redux card at a better price. Now the method, you can see my coin count is at 814K and I've been doing this method already. So I'm gonna start with 814,000 on this method and then I'm gonna use 10,000. Preferably, I will use 15,000 every single day and with limiteds in the game, with power-ups being expensive, with the market and the training being high, you wanna use this get a player method. You wanna do this roll about 30 to 35 times. Now, this is gonna to go towards your daily, so you're gonna get the daily coin quick sell, playing your solos, open up a pack, doing a set, all that type of stuff that you do on a regular. That's gonna get you another three to 5,000 coins back. So you get 30 rolls and a free opportunity to get a high elite, a high power up, or a limited. It's not the best chance for a limited, but you got yourself an opportunity out of 30 rolls. So I'm gonna spend from 814,000, I'm gonna do 10,000 coins or probably 12,000 coins out of this get a player pack. And then we're gonna look at the end result. Pay attention to with the market being high, especially after the Legends weekend, golds and power-ups are on the rise. So we're going to fly through this real quick and then we're going to add up the pools at the end as we start off with a gold. So that is always good. It's going to be a double pack right there. So a thousand coins, 500 spent, a thousand coins back. That's what you want to see. Now, when you're doing this method and you start getting two and three silvers back to back to back, just push the back button. Like right now, here's a silver. If I get another silver, I will push the back button and I will count to about five seconds and then I will come back in. You don't want to let them give you silvers back to back to back to back to back. So I got one silver and then a gold. So I'm willing to stay in. All right, so we're down to our last two or three pulls right here. Then we're going to go to the binder. We're going to add up everything. We did pull the elite, but we got uh, we started off with a lot of gold, so that's going to help with the overalls. And like I said, if you start seeing EA giving you silver after silver after silver, just back out, refresh it, 
Right now we at 804K. So we're gonna do two more, you know, so 25 to 30 rolls is the perfect amount. Give you an opportunity for your packs to heat up as we come back with another silver, that's terrible. So we're gonna go one more. Three silvers in a row, forget you EA. Okay, we end off with a gold. So now we're gonna go into the binder. We started off with 814,000, I think it was, and we're gonna add everything up. So we started off with 814K. So we're gonna go in here to some of these elites and see if we can get about 2,000 for this. So 3,000 for that elite right there, 3,100, and we got about 26 to 27 more cards to make up the difference. So we get that elite right there. Let me see, so we got all these goals. Justin Fields is 74, so 800. So if you was to do 800 for each card, bare minimum, it'd be about a nine or 10K profit. But if you can find any of the cards over a thousand, let's see what this Justin Fields is going for. 1400 right there, so we'll do 1200 on that Justin Fields, 1300 total. So that's gonna help with the overall a lot better. So if we can get a couple of these 74s or higher. How many 74s we got? So here's another 74. All these ones that's over a thousand is gonna help you out. So we're gonna do 900 for him. Anything that you could put up for at least 900 coins or a thousand coins is gonna help your overall so you should be sitting at the end you should be sitting at about a 10,000 profit minimum and here's another 1200 and up to about 18 to 20,000 so we're gonna do 1100 we just so 15 minutes ago so we should be able to get that real fast you can see our coin count is moving 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 so you can see right now I got all these golds up for the bare minimum and a couple of them over what they supposed to be so we got the Anthony Munoz that hasn't sold, the Deion Jones, the Justin Fields that's still waiting. All these ones are over a thousand each. And you can see we already up 7,000 coins, 821,000. So I got 19 active and we got a couple more in the binder that we can sell. So once the Justin Fields, if we can sell off four out of them seven bit cards, bit golds, we would be up about 15 to 17,000 coins in about these are the newest in about uh six to seven minutes but go ahead take advantage of the market right now golds fluctuate sometimes they are super super high the market is going to crash down closer to christmas so do this every day once or twice a day and you should have opportunity to pull more elites i only pull one elite on that roll but sometimes if you can do 25 to 30 packs and then stop you might pull two to three elites that would be a guaranteed seven to eight thousand coins back out of the twelve thousand uh total that you did i only did 10 11 000 right now but you can see we are up eleven thousand, and we still got another four to five thousand worth of sales especially once we get down here to this 82 overall right here and then we got this 73 we got justin fields for another thousand a lot of 74s Drop a like on the video. We got this power up for another thousand something that's gonna come. So in this little bit of time, I'll be up 15 to 18,000 coins. Rinse and repeat. The better luck that you have, the more coins you're gonna make. And this is just super, super fast. Opening up a 500 coin pack. You're gonna get your daily. There's gonna be another 5,000. So that'd be a quick 25 to 30,000 coins that you will get just playing the game. I'll see y'all in the next video in 24 hours.